Hello and welcome to uh, St Matthew's All Age Slot this week. Um, we've been taking many journeys over the last few weeks and this week we're going to join Nehemiah on his journey home when he hears about Jerusalem being broken and burnt and uh, his desire to rebuild it. Now uh, that leads us to a question, well what is home like? What does that mean for us? And I guess if we're all really honest, over the last year, the sense of home has just expanded to include a whole heap of things. Of course, it's the place where I relax with my TV, my puzzle book. But it's also this year become my gym at times. At the moment, it's the place where I worship. It's become that for me as well. And uh, I didn't quite know how to show this with the uh, breadth and variety of the things I do for work. So I put my notebook and a puppet just to give that sense of it's become my office as well. So many things that my home has practically become. Uh, we're going to talk about Nehemiah more in the, uh, in the materials released online. But in the Live Lent stuff this week, there was a great story about home and it struck me so much that I want to share with you. It's really simple and it's one of Jesus's. Uh, Jesus is talking to a load of people and uh, he says, uh, imagine you've got 100 sheep and 99 of them are safe, but you've counted them and one is missing. Who of you won't go out and search for that missing sheep and you're going to look high and you're going to look low and you're going to look under bushes and you're going to look everywhere for the sheep and then suddenly you're going to see the sheep and you scoop it up in your arms and you put it on your shoulders and you carry it home and on your way home you're calling out to your neighbours going look look I found the sheep it's okay that last sheep is safe I Come back to mine. We're going to have a party. What was lost is now found. And uh, great story uh, and uh, a real simple illustration. And then I thought, do you know what? This story isn't about sheep. And if we get the fact that it's not about sheep, it becomes even more amazing. Here's the illustration that um, I saw this week. It's not about a sheep. Actually, this story is about people. And there you go, that's a picture of me. And so let's swap out the sheep for me. And here's the story going, Jesus is out there looking for people who are lost. He looks high and he looks low and he looks wherever and he seeks them out. And then he finds John. And what does he do with John? Well, he puts him on his shoulders and he carries him home. And as he's going home, back to his home, he calls out to his friends going, friends, look, there was this bloke, John, and he's lost. But I found him and he's coming home with us. Come back to my house and have a party. That's what that story is about. That story is about the lost Johns of this world coming back home and finding that place of foundness in Jesus, that place of security, all those things that we associate with home. Now, we should add that one last thing. Home is a place of parties and we're hoping soon that our homes will be opened up to everybody. But isn't that a special picture for us? Uh, they say home is where the heart is. Well, I pray that our homes are found at a place where the lost people come home and are found by Jesus. And then we all have parties about it. So let's have a think about what home means to us. But let's just remember, let them be places where the lost become found. Take care. Bye now.